Hey guys, what is up everybody? Welcome to a new video. In this video I want to share with you the way how I color grade my videos before uploading them onto YouTube and this would be a really helpful tutorial for those of you who just started, uh, you know, this journey into posting videos or recording videos. Maybe you're doing vlogs or maybe you're recording some kind of tutorials and uh, what you want to do, you want to uh, make your videos look a little bit nicer before you upload them onto onto YouTube uh, and of course if you're shooting your videos in automatic mode or uh, maybe you just use basic manual settings but you don't use color profiles such as S-Log2 2 or S-Log3 so this is really basic color grading tutorial how I do it usually uh, when I need to record video quickly and post it onto YouTube. To show you how it works in my case, here is my video which I recorded previously. Uh, this, is, this video is not color graded yet. So what I'm gonna do, um, I click here onto the pencil and I choose, I'm going to the top which is called color and effects and then I choose original. So basically that give me possibility to adjust colors and uh, brightness and contrast in a way I like. And my usual tactics is that I start from the bottom. So I'm not going from the top, I usually scroll down here and I start with a section called gamma. Uh, what I usually do, I put it onto maybe 0 0.9 or between 0 0.8 and 0 0.9. So let's make it 85. And then I'm going next to uh, color sections, right? So we have red, green and blue colors to adjust. I'm starting with the blue as well. So I'm going from the bottom all the way up. And in this particular case, I want to have a little bit colder colors. Uh, so let's leave it 1.3. Um, I don't really change green and as per red, I would leave it like 1.2. Uh, next we go into shadow amount and shadow amount, um, I usually try to keep it positive because in this case uh, there is not as a big difference between darker areas and uh, brighter areas, right? Speaking of highlight amount, I usually put it to 0 0.9 because in this case I don't have those like over saturated or over like super bright areas in my video. Uh, speaking of um, highlight or shadow radius, I don't touch this at all. Next I'm going to the Vibrance uh, and Vibrance I usually put like something between 0 and 5 just to make it a little bit, a little bit more vibrant. Speaking of saturation, uh, depends on the picture, I prefer to keep it either uh, in positive numbers, I mean around 0 or actually go in negative. So in this particular case I'm gonna keep it like 0.95. And as per contrast, it also depends on how you um, want your picture look like and also depends on, on conditions where you recorded your video and what kind of light you have there. But basically what I'm trying to escape, I want to escape super bright areas and I want to escape that some elements in my video lose their color. As an example, this is my turtleneck uh, shirt and if I go into the negative section of the contrast, right, it doesn't look really natural. But if I go positive, it can be too dark. So I would here, I would prefer to keep it somewhere around, just add it a little bit, so 1.3 will be enough. And speaking of brightness, let's just make it a little bit brighter. Something 0 0.3 will be fine. Um, so yeah, that how my video looked before. 
and that's how it looks like now before now before now that is the basic things which you can do if you edit your video on ipad or iphone if you just started so play around find the way how you want your video look like and as you evolve with your skills and maybe with your camera gear there is also a possibility to make more uh, to make this um, color gradient a little bit more advanced and in one of my further videos i will definitely show it so don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you're not subscribed yet and also leave your comments in the leave your questions in the comment section below so i can read them and maybe reply or even include them into the following videos um, thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one cheers